In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of amazing 3D character animation very easily with the help of some expressions in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Create a new composition with the 16 is to 9 frame size ratio. Now let's create an another new composition with the width and height of 800 by 1000 pixels. Let's rename this composition to 1. Now let's create a folder and name it images and let's import some images in this folder. Now select the rectangle tool and choose the fill color and then double click on this rectangle tool to make a perfect rectangle shape that exactly fills the composition size. Now open the rectangle path properties and unlink the chain of size. Here I am going with a width and height of 492 by 780 pixels. Now go to effects and presets panel and apply the transform effect and adjust the skew and its axis values as shown here. Now import one of your images in this composition and scale it down just like so and track map the image layer to the shape layer. Now head back to the main composition and drop the composition 1 in it. Enable 3D for that layer. Now duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl T. Now select the bottom layer and apply the fill effect. Choose the fill color from here and increase the scale properties of the bottom layer just like so. Now select both these layers and pre comp them and then enable 3D on it. Now select the composition one in the project panel and make 5 more copies of it by pressing Ctrl D. Now open composition 2 and select the image layer in it. Now hold the Alt key and select another image from the project panel and then drag and drop it on the image layer to replace it. Now open composition 3, select the image layer in it. Hold the Alt key and select another image from the project panel and drag and drop it on the image layer and just follow the same process for the rest of the compositions. After done, head back to the main composition, drag and drop the composition tool in it just for a moment solo this layer and make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl D. Now select the bottom layer and apply the fill effect on it. Now select the bottom layer and increase the scale properties just like before. Now select both these compositions and pre comp them and enable 3D on it. Now you can disable the solo. Now drag the composition 3 in it and make a copy of it. Now select the bottom layer and you need to just follow the same process that we have done before and apply the fill effect on it. So yeah, here we go. Now let's create a camera and also a null object as well. Enable 3D for the null layer. Now select all the pre comp layers and pair in them to null one. Now select any one of the pre comps and open the position property of it by pressing P. Now hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch icon of position property and add this expression which will be available for you in the description. Now repeat the same process for every other pre-comp layer. Now let's adjust the z-axis value of the camera a little bit backward so we can see all of the layers perfectly inside the composition window. Now open rotation properties of the null layer. Here if we rotate it on y-axis, we can see those images are not facing camera. So to fix it, select all the pre-comp layers, go to layer and go to transform and click on auto orient and here select orient towards camera and click on ok. Now if you rotate it on y-axis, you can see all of them are facing camera. Now let's add some expression on the Y rotation. Hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch icon of Y rotation and paste this expression. So yeah, here we go. This is the final preview. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.